I think the Rory go faster without the roof. Chill. Started y'all mic around the two stacking up. I love how my money kind of move. With attitude, I got a bitch or two. And I dropped out of school. Hop out. I'm going up, check my vertical. May not break in every rule. TMZ harassing me. I got a... Coach, we find ourselves at the foot of the Rockies, Denver, Colorado, for this edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Tennessee Titans and the Denver Broncos. This is fielded at the chalk of the 10. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. Mariota now to throw on first down. And this one caught by Delaney Walker. And out across midfield down to the 45. A really nice gain of 25 yards. I do believe we'll see a little bit more of this as this game progresses because when you can have that type of a game in the middle of the defense, it hurts them in so many ways because most teams like to be strong down the middle. And if you can sting them there, that opens things up for you on the outside as well. That's where he, their big tight end, is so good. That middle third, the seam routes, the in routes. Yeah, you're right. Probably see more of that. Yeah, it takes a lot of courage and fortitude to go in the middle as well. <laughs> and he's got it. They'll run it now out of the gun. And a pretty big hole as he's down to about the 40. It's a seven-yard pickup. They'll be looking now to third and six. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid game. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits, and these creases like they were able to exploit right there. Losing two yards that time, and now it's fourth down. All right, quick observation, Brandon, because early on in this game, I'm seeing linebackers playing with their noses close to the line of scrimmage. And my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline. As a play caller, you're filing that away right now, aren't you? Yeah, you're trying to find that opportunity later on when you can play action them or stick something to them between the second and the third level. Fourth down, Mariota. He throws, and this is going to be incomplete. The Titans try it, but ultimately they fail on fourth down. And this crowd loves it as their guys hold on the opening drive. Good starting position for the Broncos here as they come up first and ten. here back at the 41 it's a loss of two there bringing up second down uh, it's a tough one right there he ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss I think quarterbacks got to see that got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous first play of the drive goes the wrong way here's second and 12 Looking to throw on second down. Murray out to the flat for Reddick. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. third down a nickel formation here defensively gone, 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 gone. Ah! from the gun Murray and he fires one but 
incomplete. I will see more of them trying to get him the football out of the backfield. They love what he can do in open space, and they believe that he creates mismatches they can exploit. And they'll move to get the offense off the field. They'll stay put on fourth and one. And now before they run this play on fourth and one, we're going to get a break and a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. So they're going to come to the line here, and it appears trying to go for it gun, on four. Gun, 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 gun. Operating from the gun, Murray. And he's going to have his running back. It's complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. So not only do they convert on fourth, but they pick up 22 yards in the process. Well, peel back the curtain, partner. We've got a pretty good look into how they plan to play this game. Aggressive seems to be the word. Going for it on fourth down in that situation. Yeah, opening drive. Now, we know this coaching staff, they have traits of aggression in their history, but what a start to this game. They're going for it. Yeah, a lot of people might say reckless, but they got it. One for one on fourth down here early in the game. Here's Murray. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. It'll be a gain of eight yards, and it'll be a second down. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Hurry up, here we go. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. At five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. All right, Brad, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. down. Murray. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off inside the five. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. So the first interception of his career under center and you knew it was going to happen sooner or later. It has to. And I know he feels like the world is just tumbling down at this moment. But there's got to be some veteran somewhere, some mentor that's going to tell him, hang in there my man. Plenty more to come. Keep firing. They'll start on the ground with McNichols. And now running right through it. Accelerating and off he goes. The 40. He's at the 30. 10. Touchdown, Titans. A big play there. 94 yards. And the Titans have taken a first quarter lead. So their backs were against the wall, deep back in their own territory, and they run it all the way down into the end zone. That takes a lot of coordination for an offensive team, doesn't it? Because, let's face it, it's really not a surprise that they're going to run the ball in that situation. Backed up that close to their own end zone, usually do call running plays, trying to be safe. Instead, it turns into an electrical run, a bolt for your team, and off he goes to the races. 
Here's the Denver offense now as they get set to take over here. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And, of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know what, a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. So the face mask, quite a blessing there as they'll start out of harm's way with a first and ten. Now they'll run it on the toss. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. To throw on second down. Murray over the middle. He's got Deshaun Hamilton. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. A nickel set shown by the Titans on third down. Thinking pass. From the gun, Murray. Got him in, and he finds Sanders. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. First catch of the new season for him, and he picks up the first. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. On first down, Murray. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Nice little nifty play for him there. Yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, Detroit, Detroit. hey, we got a bike. Oh, he just snuck out there, and they just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? And they were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. On first and 10, Murray eluding the pressure right. And he'll be forced out of bounds, shy of the line of scrimmage, so that'll be credited as a sack. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Looking to throw on second down. Murray. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. Well, this is how you shape the thoughts of that interception on the last drive. You come out and start this one four for four. And watching him throw it around with that type of confidence reminds me of a guy I played with way back when who told me, I don't care if I throw 10 interceptions in a row. I'm going to stay confident keep flinging it. I'll just figure there's something wrong with the football. 
They face a third and four after that last completion gets him six. Operating from the gun, Murray throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes this one down to the 15. They get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. This quarterback now five for five on the drive. He's responded after the interception. It's first and ten. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. They go with McNichols to start the drive. And he's taken down, but able to get this up to the 20-yard line. This guy's well on his way now to a big game on the ground. It's another good run there. Puts him over the century mark in yardage, and we're still in the second quarter. Running game working, they'll stick with it on first down. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Second and nine now from the 21. the ground this is McNichols and for one of the few times here today this run's not going to go anywhere no gain on the play there so that doesn't help now they're looking up at a third and nine situation The D lineman almost had it. Couldn't hang on. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, big play, right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense if that fell harmlessly to the ground. On is Kern, the punter, to send this one away. Fielded at the 33. That'll be a 43-yard punt, but a net of just 33 following a 10-yard return. And the Broncos take over, first down and 10. Now the Broncos offense, they get set to head back onto the field. And it's been a miserable start for them offensively, obviously. Two drives, two interceptions. And this is where you have to know your quarterback and know how you actually have to reach him. Do you do it with a little bit of humor? Maybe you break the ice a little bit like, hey, didn't we practice in that color jersey all week, not the one that you're throwing it to? Or maybe you have to be stern with it. But whatever it's going to take to get the message, under a heavy rush and down he goes. I know there'll be a little bit of criticism there because they went right back to the air after the huge pickup and end up getting sacked. That's often a play that you make. You feel like you've got momentum on your side. Unfortunately, the O-line failed to hold up to try to keep that momentum going. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Now let's go. Green. From the gun, Murray. Oh, look at Thomas wide open. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. A nice pick up there, 19 yards. And they're set up better for third. Obviously, this has not been a banner game throwing the football. So what you got to do, you got to kind of down focus, don't you think? Find the tight end, take some easier completions. 
The interception last drive. There he hits the reliable target. The offense on third down tonight, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. They're looking at third and a few inches. And they'll let their fullback try and push the pile. And he will have the first down, but he winds up paying for it pretty good. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Let's go. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he'll bring this one inside the 35. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled him up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. tackle but not much daylight after that as he's brought down just a gain of a yard there and now it'll be third down this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. This offense converted once on fourth down earlier. Now they're out there again to try once more. Set, three, 19. From the gun, Murray. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked up by the USC man, Adore Jackson. And he will take this across midfield and down to the 48-yard line. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. Huh, hate to see this. Week one of the season. We'll be back. Interception here, Mariota. And his throw is going to be incomplete. One of his main targets, Delaney Walker, the intended receiver. And it's second down. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Three, three, three. On play action, Mariota. And he finds Corey Davis. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. A really good pickup of 28 yards. Two minutes to play here in the first half. Back to Denver right after this. The first red zone opportunity for the Titans. First and 10 right at the 20. Here's Mariota. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down? The offense or the defense? Let's face it. If you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. 
Nice effort to knock that one away and bring up second down. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. They go play action. Mariota. And into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. In for the score. And the Titans are going to add on to their lead. Brandon, what we just saw there were two guys who were in sync. The person delivering the ball, but especially the person running the route. Tremendous job. It results in a terrific play. Extra point up and good by Suckup. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. Now here's Suckup out to kick it away. This one taken just inside the 10. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. And Denver getting set to take the field. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does. And a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game. And typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early. Probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything. At least three points get that zero off the board. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. He couldn't get the hook up there that time with Thomas. We haven't even escaped the first half, and he's already thrown four picks. And Brandon... Back in the good old days, probably back before you were born, if your starter threw four in the first half, he might throw eight or more for the game because they weren't going to pull him out. But nowadays, the patience level isn't quite there. He's going to have to make some real adjustments or the backup may see some time. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Picked off by Dominic Rogers Cromartie. And his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. Well, there definitely was some juice on that pass. And while tight ends don't always have the same reputation for hands as wide receivers do, in this case, that ball was expected to be caught. Watch it now, Barney! Barney! Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. He'll get three yards on the scramble there. It's second down. The Broncos in the hurry up, try to get to their positions and get set quickly. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. To throw on second down. Murray, that's incomplete. Nearly another pick. My goodness. I hate to sound really negative, but at this point, an incomplete pass, almost a moral victory that it's not picked off. Well, you may hate to sound negative, but that was negative. It was very negative, I know, but all these first-half interceptions, it's been tough to watch. Yeah, couldn't find a silver lining in this one. Much more like lead. The Broncos on third down. They've converted three right, out of five thus six. far. Lucky this is third six. and seven. Murray now. Flush to his right. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off by Super Bowl 49 hero Malcolm Butler. And he returns it into enemy territory down to the 45-yard line. The interception woes, they just continue to mount. He's thrown five picks. At this point, you got to be thinking, is it something between the ears? I think a confidence hit does occur once you start getting those numbers up there a little bit. But as you and I both know, it's not always just one guy's fault. Maybe somebody ran the wrong pattern. Maybe some balls were tipped. It can be so many different things. Bottom line, though, it comes back to the guy throwing them. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion. They would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync. Stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, he'll be brought down by the 
Broncos. It's a sack. Von Miller not dropping into coverage. He comes on the blitz and takes him down for a loss of nine. Third and long here for Mariota. And that is incomplete. Down to 15 seconds now. And how about this? Fourth and long, and they're going to go for it. They're indeed going. It's Mariota. Now he's going to go deep down the left side. It's caught inside the 25. And the timeout comes in with two seconds remaining. So they can trot out the field goal unit for the try before we hit the lockers. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. This is a 40-yard attempt from the left hash. And Suckup will put this one right through. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. As we send you on out to our studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Now here's Suckup out to kick it away. And to no one's surprise here in Denver, that'll carry through the back of the end zone for a touchback. Here comes the Broncos' offensive unit here as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter. They come out here with a zero on the scoreboard. What was said in that locker room? That's what I want to know. I would love to have been in there because we often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting, screaming, people upset. But typically, uh, halftime locker rooms are a lot more clinical than that. And in this case... Are they upset that the plays weren't working because of execution? Or did they think just they were just bad plays to call? Yeah. We'll find out pretty quickly here if they feel like they had something going, but they just need to do it a little bit better or not. We'll find out. The big play to start him out has him at the 45 already. Let's go! Off the bootleg. Murray. Rolling to his right. And now here is another interception. Picked off by Jonathan Cyprian. And he'll return this ball across midfield to the 47-yard line. What a nightmarish game he's having now. Six interceptions that he has thrown. Absolutely unbelievable, isn't it? Hard to believe we're watching this and have seen it. But it just tells you about the game of football. It giveth and it taketh away. Yeah, the guys, though, that have thrown six interceptions in a game, the likes of Peyton Manning, Brett Favre, I think Joe Namath, he did it three times. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. They run again with McNichols. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. It's a loss of four. Now third down. Well, Brandon, he's had a great day, and sometimes that just happens. It is the NFL. They will make some plays against you. On the move to his left, and he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything that warranted the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. And Denver getting set to take the field. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays. Oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. A gain of six there on first.
From the 26, they'll line up on second and four. Off the bootleg, Murray. He'll buy some time right. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off at the 39. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. The number seven, usually lucky here, not for him. Seven picks he's thrown in this game. That's only happened six times since 1960. And I know that the most recent time it happened, the guy who threw him, he won a Heisman Trophy in college, so sometimes you just have a lousy game. Doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad career, but when you're talking about one game, seven, you're right, not lucky at all. Yeah, Ty Detmer, the last to do it in 2001 to throw seven picks. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Three, three, three. From the gun, Mariota. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he's going to get this inside the 30. First catch of the new season for him, and he picks up the first. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or... Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. To the air again, Mariota. Got a man right side, it's sharp. And they work this near the five, he'll be stopped at the six. Mariota to sharp that time for a Titan first. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, Using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. Moved back to the 10. They'll try on second and goal here. One, one, one. Set, move in. Line it up. Working out of the gun, Mariota. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Dominique Rogers Cromartie. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. fortunate there to get out of his end zone he maybe got back to the two yard line call it no gain on the play and it'll be second down To throw from his end zone. Murray, incomplete. Brandon, at least there's one bright side to that incompletion. What's that? It wasn't an interception. Wow. <laughs> you're, you're a nice guy. That was kind of savage. But correct. No, no pick, just incomplete that time. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Set, blue, 
Got to be careful here. Backed up this deep on third down. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. Another drive comes and goes. Still nothing on the scoreboard. Yeah, and when the second half comes, you know, it's real easy to get discouraged and wonder if you're ever going to get things started. You just got to fight through it. Got to keep pounding away. Here's Matt Wild now. And no room for air here as his first punt comes from deep in his own end zone. And he'll just punch it out of there, and it's not a great kick. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? I mean, they score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, in fact, you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? That one, 28 yards on the ground. Right back to him on first down. It's a good gain of 11, sets him up first and goal. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. They come up in an offset eye. They'll try to run for it on first and goal. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral-type runs. But the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. And give him two yards officially, and now it'll be third and goal. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you want to. You're without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one, but was denied as he tried to get the second one. No gain on the play that time. So a big stop, and it's going to leave him with a fourth and goal. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. And Suckup will put this one right through. And the lead now increases to 20 to nothing. A good drive gets them inside the five, but they could not punch it in. And credit the defense, too. Make sure that that happens because that was the old bend but don't break approach. Made sure they contained them when they absolutely had to and forced the field goal attempt that went through. Suck up now, set to kick it off, following the made field goal. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. So the Broncos coming out now. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Now problems right out of the gate. We're going to get a delay. They were trying to create some space to run. They created the penalty. And you work on it so much. You work on it so hard. But it's tough to simulate game speed in practice. And that often runs you into a penalty. The delay of game backs him up five, first and 15. Off the bootleg, Murray. 
And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. And attempted a deep ball there. They didn't get it. But, boy, they're going to need a few of those to actually hit in order to get back into this game. Good thing they do have a little bit of time here still left in the contest. Decent-sized deficit, but not one that they can't manage. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Operating from the gun, Murray. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. A good pick up there, 13 yards as they get closer for third down. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. And that's the reason why, what we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play, one-on-one -on -one matchup if someone's trying to cover them, but they also like those one-on-ones downfield after the catch when they're running with the ball. They think they're going to win those, too. And that's complete to Sanders. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. So even with the pass interference, it's a completed pass. They'll go ahead and just take the play instead. How about the effort? Making the catch despite the pass interference. Nothing else to be gained on the play. No need to take the penalty. The play stands. Midfield just a yard or two shy of the 40. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. Set, green. On first down, Murray. Throw left side, it's reeled in by Hamilton. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. Welcome back now to Denver. It's the Broncos trailing, but they do have possession of the football as we begin quarter number four. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. Buying time to his left. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. He'll get three yards on the scramble there. It's second down. How about a tip of the cap to the defense? They're working against a very mobile quarterback, but all day long they've kept him under wraps. And on that play, they held him to a short gain. A touchdown saving tackle there. Now it's third and goal. They've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? They'll run. Here's 
Bojanovic, the fullback. And he's not even going to get back to the line of scrimmage. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. I get the thought process, third and short, give it to the fullback, let him bulldoze his way, but that means you're counting on your offensive line to win a lot of scrimmage, aren't you? Yeah, and there was just a mass of bodies there at the line. Looked like more defenders than offensive guys. Winds up losing yardage. And a field goal obviously means nothing here. They're going to go ahead and go for it on fourth down. Now let's go. 319. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And they're going to get to him. A sack. Sack back at the nine-yard line. They're turned away on fourth and goal. And this shutout is going to continue as the defense holds again. They'll go McNichols to start the drive. Room here to run. A big play that time for the Titans. 44 yards on the ground. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And he's got it across midfield and into Denver territory. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. Accepted. That would have been his third pick in this game alone. Instead, fourth down. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. One, 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 one. Now Mariota. Open man is Taylor. He's got it. And he'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That pickup goes for 25. What a flip of the script from fourth down to first. Mariota now, a perfect eight for eight to start the second half. Not bad, first and 10. Now it's McNichols. And he will score, touchdown Titans. A great effort there. Already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Titans find a way to stretch their lead. Extra point put through by Suckup. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Now here's Suck about to kick it away. This one taken just inside the 10. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30 to the 33-yard line. And coming out now, the Broncos. And last time, they had it fourth and goal. Rolled the dice, didn't get it. 
Now they've got to put that behind them, try to put together another drive. A yeah, simple tip of the cap, a nod of the head to the defense. Congratulations, you got us last time. But you didn't hold us the whole time. We got down to position. We were able to right, be in position to score. Let's go ahead and attack again. Continue to have that kind of confidence. Not worry about the one play that didn't allow them to get into the end zone. And this time they'll be trying to get it into the end zone. We'll see what they do. They're throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden a secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. That's incomplete. Nearly another pick. My goodness. The Broncos on third down. Not quite 50%. Four for nine. This is third and ten. From the gun, Murray. And he finds Julius Thomas. And he'll be brought down with the first down and a late flag here, too. And he may get a few more tacked on for good measure. Maybe a critical mistake at this juncture is now they've got a first and ten. Operating from the gun, Murray. And now here is another interception. Picked off by the safety, Kenny Vaccaro. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Thought they had something going there to break that goose egg here in the second half, but to no avail. Hope was alive until that interception. What a terrific play, taking the ball away after it looked like they were starting a drive. And now that shutout still standing. You know that's something those defensive guys hold a lot of pride on, too. No doubt about it. They are excited about where they are in this game. Here's McNichols. And strong running there gets this up over the 15-yard line. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. It's a loss of two, now third down. On the run, it's McNichols. A strong running. <laughs> and he'll be about a full yard shy of the 20 at the 19-yard line. And now, defensively, they're going to burn their first time out. Remember, they get an extra time built in coming up here shortly at the two-minute warning. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. Taking it about the 36. They'll get nine yards on the return there following a punt of 42. And out will come the offense as they take over. Now this Broncos offensive unit ready to head back out onto the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive? Or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Going deep for Moncrief. And nearly another interception. They've been around the ball all game. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Throwing again, Murray. Looking left side and completing it to Thomas. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. He got 29 yards that time. Time for a break. Back to finish it off on EA Sports after this. Watch it now, Barney. Barney. Set. Green, 39. 
throwing on first down. Murray escaping the pressure right. And nearly another interception. They've been around the ball all game. I'm trying to decipher what's going on out there because I don't know if he's just getting bad reads. I don't know if the defense is confusing him. I don't know if he just has, you know, bad info and intel before he snaps the ball, but he's made some pretty bad decisions with the football lately. He has several bad decisions on the interceptions he's thrown, and frankly, that should have been another pick right there. Second and 10 now from the 27. All right, here we go. To throw again, Murray. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off by Logan Ryan. And it's a good return here as he'll get all the way up close to the 35. And maybe he telegraphed it a little bit right there. You've got a quarterback knowing that he's going against a rookie quarterback. He stepped in and picked it. You think he had a great week of preparation looking forward to this opportunity? And the second part of that is when you're a young quarterback, you are going to stare down targets. But oftentimes, your playbook hasn't expanded to give you full field reads as well. Makes it a little bit tougher for him. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw it through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. They got two of the three they needed there. Leaves them with third and just a yard. And they'll go with a ground attack here. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Turning into a really good performance on the road. Week one, you're just hoping for that first win. It's tough to do it away from home, though, but they're looking strong. It certainly is. Any road win in the NFL is a great road win. I mean, it just does not matter whether it's supposed to be tough or not. In this particular situation, how great will they feel leaving with a win on the road against a tough opponent? A little work still to do, though. Now here's Suck about to kick it away. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10. Here we go now. 319. Here's Murray. That'll be caught right side by Hamilton. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Detroit, 10 Detroit. yards on the pick up there, and it'll be second down. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. He's going to let it fly. He's got it with the 15. And that one results in 35 yards. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves, but they're also looking forward now because now these plays are really for next week, trying to get some momentum going. the red zone now they'll look to throw forced out to his left and a big loss here as he's taken down now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set and you hate to say it with a rookie quarterback he's done some good things but overall Detroit, Detroit. a little bit overwhelmed back there hasn't he he certainly has but in his defense he hasn't had a lot of time to throw the football you like the way i said that in his defense in his, and he's across for the touchdown too little too late but he does get in for six. No wonder you're grinning. You just beat me in our fantasy league. Indeed I did, my good man. So they will get on the scoreboard here. Give him credit for that. Too little, too late, but no zero. Are you going, you're going slow clap on me. <laughs> Not very nice, is it? No, but they haven't been very nice on offense. It's been a struggle. Now McManus on to kick this one off. And 
and that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Titans offense now, they get set to head back out here. They have the dream scenario you hope for coming into the game. Just one kneel here, and this game should be over. And it's always the final play of preparation each week. The practicing of the kneel down formation, the victory formation. We've got a game in hand, and that's all they're going to want to do now. They'll put someone back deep just in case something goes haywire. But all in all, take the snap, kneel down, and, and shake hands. Yes, get out of there. And partner, this first week, this first game that we get to call together, so special every year, week one. You had the fly over the big American flag out there before the game, all the hoopla, just having football back, so special. It is an opening day, opening game. There's just nothing like it because you really build to a crescendo. But the best part for us is that crescendo lasts for a while. Opening game here, an entire season, we get into the playoffs, to the Super Bowl, I was really excited. I could barely sleep last night. I can't imagine being a player. So for the Titans, not much to complain about here. They come in and steal a victory in a tough place to play on a Sunday night. And they'll head back home next week to take on the Houston Texans. Meanwhile, for Denver, they go down to defeat here in the opener. And they'll have a chance at redemption next week at home against the Indianapolis Colts. So for our entire crew, alongside Charles Davis, I'm